Let's have a look uh, on some of the more complicated type of implicit differentiation questions. Alright, here I actually prepared three different questions, so I, I plan to spend a little bit time to explain about these three questions. Alright, because um, it seems like not too bad, but when you, when you differentiate that time, because inside have x and y, so you kind of need to use the product rule inside as well. But before I, I teach about that, you should know what to do when you differentiate the ln x. So yeah, here I just help you revise a little bit. All right, so whenever we differentiate the ln x, we are actually getting back the one over x, right? However, if we do something like, if we differentiate the ln sine x, then what we want to do is we will get one over whatever beside the ln, which is ln, which is sine x. And then we kind of need to differentiate the sine x and write on the top, isn't it? And become multiply, right? So you differentiate sine x will give you cos x. And then like cos x over sine x, it will actually give me uh, cotangent x. All right, this is just uh, some things I want to help you revise a little bit. All right, so let's have a look at these questions. All right, if I differentiate ln x, y. All right, so like what we do is whenever we differentiate ln, whatever thing beside it, we just one over it. So one over x, y. All right, then what we need to do is quite simple. We just need to uh, differentiate the x, y. So you differentiate x, y, just imagine uh, this one is u, this one is v. Then what you want to do right now is you want to copy u, differentiate v, plus copy v, differentiate u. Okay, so which is exactly the product rule. All right, so copy u will be x, differentiate v, differentiate y it will give you dy dx. Plus, if you want to copy the y, uh, which is y, and then differentiate x, which is one. All right, one uh, normally I don't write, so this one will be the answer. But normally we will not leave like this, we will just like go one more step to make it look nicer a little bit. So which is multiply uh, one over x, y into both terms here. So x and x, you imagine you can simplify, you will get one over y bracket, dy dx and then 1 over x y multiply y will actually give you plus 1 over x right because y and y I simplify I get 1 over x all right this one will be my answer all right then we have a look at the question number two here if you want to differentiate our tangent x y square so if uh, at first you must understand uh, what do you get after when you differentiate tangent x you differentiate tangent x will give you second square x isn't it so therefore uh, if you differentiate something like simple one, a uh, tangent 2x, then we will actually get our uh, tangent will give us second square 2x. And then we need to differentiate the 2x and then give us 2, right? So normally we will write 2 second square 2x. But you're wondering, how about the first one? Why we doesn't differentiate x one more time? Actually, we do. When we differentiate the x here, we'll give her one, right? So actually, I write an invisible one in the uh, in front here, but you just doesn't see it. All right, so whenever we differentiate trigonometry, we always copy the angle because we cannot simply change the angle, right? So angle is 2x, you just remain at 2x. And then you need to differentiate the angle right, uh, right at the front as multiply, or you want to write at the back also can. All right, this is some basic about tangent. All right, so let's have a look at these questions here. All right, if I want to differentiate this one, this is this one will be my angle, isn't it? So if this one is my angle, tangent will give me second square. Angle will just copy x, y square. All right, and then I need to uh, differentiate the angle here by using the product rule. This is u and v, right? Copy the first one, differentiate uh, y square. If you differentiate y square, basically will give you 2y dy dx, isn't it? All right, then plus uh, copy the x, uh, copy the y square and differentiate the x. Differentiate x give you one, right? Copy the y square, it's just y square. All right, you can leave like this or you want to expand it also can, but I think I will just uh, do one more step which is simplify this part. So the second square x, y square, I'm not going to multiply in. Yeah, and then multiply with 2xy and then bracket dy dx plus y square. All right, I think leave the answer like this will be a lot uh, better. No need to expand it. All right, so yeah, I hope you understand what's going on. Uh. So basically what happened inside the bracket here is just the product rule. Yeah, if you have no idea what is product rule, yeah, you can go check out uh, the product rule of differentiation, then you should know what's going on. And you don't know why I will get a second square 
X, you kind of need to go to revise how to differentiate the trigonometry. All right, then we go to the last one, which is the exponent one. All right, let's revise a little bit on exponent. So if we differentiate EX, we are getting back the same thing, EX. So if we differentiate something like E sine X, so what we will do is, for E is kind of like trigonometry, the power will never change, we will just copy the sine X here. And then what we want to do next is, we need to differentiate the power right at the back here. So I will differentiate the power, sine X will give me cos X, right? So I will get cos X. Right, and you're wondering why I didn't write here because you differentiate x, you give you one, right? Actually, it's multiply one here, but normally we do just don't write the one. All right, so yeah, this one will be the answer, but then this one is a bit different because this is not x. Remember dx, but then this is y. So when we do that time, we must be very careful. All right, so like all the exponent question, you just copy the power, so I will get e. So this one, uh, we know we can actually multiply the x into it, right? So I will kind of call it something like x sine y. Or you want to call sine y x also can, but you have to bracket the sine y because the x is not inside the angle. It's just an individual one. All right, then now what we want to do is we want to differentiate the power. So we differentiate the power and here is another product rule, u and v. So I copy the x and then right now I want to differentiate the sine y. So I differentiate the sine y will give me cos y and then I will get dy dx because it's y. And then I plus, I copy the sine y and then I differentiate the x which is one, which is I can just ignore. Yeah, this one uh, pretty much is my final answer. So if I want to simplify, maybe I can just expand it but I don't think I want to expand so I'll just leave my answer like this. Alright, this kind of question is not really hard, but then at least I want you to understand what's going on here. Alright, I hope you learned something from this video. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.